Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to opening night in the NBA. The 2024-25 NBA season is upon us. We kick it off where the champs last won the last NBA game. Uh, we're going to kick it off right the way we ended the season with the Boston Celtics top of the day. They got the New York Knickerbockers in their building night one of the season. And man, I got to be honest with you guys, I wish I could, like, hold it out and, like, it, like you know, not spoil the, the remainder of the highlight. This one was a laugher. So if you decide to stay with me, it's because you rock with your boy throughout this game or really wanted to see the Celtics Knicks highlight because uh, this game wasn't close at all. As a matter of fact, it's 11 10. It'll never be as close as Tatum throws down the dunk. And I mean, this thing just explodes for the champs. It's Derek White. Okay, so the score does get to one one more time. Celtics are just going to start making a barrage. And I say that for real, like a barrage of three-pointers. They could not miss this well-rounded team inside. They go. Cormette's going to get some minutes with Christos Porzingis injured again. I don't even think the Celtics care as Bronson gets him a deuce. It's 21 16. A little past midway in the first. It's Tatum lining it up, knocking it down. If he would have did that like 10 more times in the playoffs, in the finals, he would be finals MVP. Tatum, bang. He looks good. Yeah, Steve Kerr. You should have played my man. Another three from Tatum. Okay, at this point, it's just all Boston. All the team in green that got their championship award as they deservedly got their rings right before the game. Greeted by the big three, the loudest champions in NBA history, the 08 uh, Celtics. There was Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett, and Ray Allen in attendance to watch these Celtics try to do something that they couldn't do, which is repeat. I mean, these threes right now. Look at the scoreboard, ladies and gentlemen. It's 40 to 20. This is supposed to be the night that we discuss the Knicks and their additions they made this offseason. Like that dude, Carl Anthony Towns inside. But all we can focus on is the three-pointers from the Boston Celtics. They put up a whopping 43 in quarter number one. And I do want to at least acknowledge Jaden McBride. He had a really good game for the Knicks. But, uh, man, I thought Al Horford had announced his retirement. He did not. And he even was lighting it up from the field. Brown, beautiful ball movement. This thing is a world oil machine at this point, man. Listen, I, I listen. Joe Mazzula deserves some credit, but yeah, I know I tend to say this team is still benefiting from the the hard work of a freak nasty NBA Udoka, who put these boys in position to to really be the best version of themselves. And now I think Joe, who I don't even think is a top twenty coach, is benefiting from Coach Udoka, who's now in Houston's efforts. Because man, I'm man, this is ridiculous. They brought Mikel Bridges in, who's playing in his first game as a Nick, to stop Tatum. He didn't do it in this one. What can Brown do for you? Your finals MVP gets to steal. Your finals MVP gets to throw down. And since we're talking about guys that collected some hardware, how about Team USA gold medalists? The guy that maybe stole Jalen Brown's Olympic gold medal spot. Derek White nailing the three. I want to give Brunson some credit. He has 22 points. He tried. But as my dad always say, they ganged me. And boy, did the Celtics gang the Knicks. D. White nails another three. The lead is 24. As Brunson responds with a tray ball of his own. It's an 18-point game. How about Tatum inside showing you what grind, hard work, and dedication can do? Tatum looking good, man. Is this his MVP season, by the way? Can he get the regular season after not getting the finals MVP? We'll see. Towns had uh, 12.7 rebounds in his debut as a Nick. As uh, Tatum had a lot more than, than 12. And could have really had a lot more if he were needed. How about Tatum kicking off the season with 37 points, 10 assists? We're already in uh, in route of a blowout. The Celtics are still making threes. As a matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, the Celtics 
we're one three away from breaking an NBA record. And I, I bring this up because this is the NBA's highlight. Um, if I'm being completely honest with you, the NBA doesn't show a lot of misses in their highlights. They don't like putting the game in a bad light. So you don't see the fourth quarter, which is literally the Celtics revert, reserves trying to break a three-point record. They never broke it, by the way, which it literally is about six minutes of misses from a tired Celtics reserve squad as Tatum makes the move on Bridges. Come on, Mikael. That's why we brought you here. Mikhail Bridges. We need now. come on now. You can't be getting worked by Tatum. Oh no. If I'm New York, I want my money back. Bang. Tatum. Again for three. At this point, it's ridiculous. D White again. The Celtics could not miss for three. They look like the best team by far. Night one of the season. Mikhail, as you will notice, Bridges got a new looking shot. I've never thought Mikhail's shot is broken. Clearly, he does. He's reformed that thing this offseason. We'll see how it goes for him. He didn't score in the first half. And then Mikhail at least was able to put up a respectable 16 in the second half. This is a 26-point game. This game is over, ladies and gentlemen. And I just want to say this. I think the New York Knicks will be fine. I think they'll win their next four games. I wouldn't look too much in the night one of the season. You know, uh, I'm a big college football fan. So Georgia had to play Clemson game one of the season. And I was telling a couple of my close friends, like, you know, Clemson got blown out by Georgia. I wouldn't look too much in it. And I know Georgia lost to Bama or whatever, but they're one of the best programs college basketball has. College football has an offer, excuse me. And so is it's the Celtics. They're the, one of, if not the best program that the NBA has to offer. And I, and I bring it up to say, you know, I don't put too much stock in the Knicks getting embarrassed night one of the season. I bet they'll win the next few games. I watched a lot of Knicks preseason games. They're fine. They're fine. And for all my people that support this platform, this is the first game of the season. If you have not watched any of my preseason highlights, this is kind of the new format. Um, as Luke Cormet gets one of Jason Tatum's rare misses. Uh, you know, I'm just trying things out and seeing how you guys respond. If y'all continue to view this, I'll make more, right? I have plans on doing uh, every game tomorrow night of the NBA season, which is why I'm not going to do commentary at the end of this video, trying to save my voice and rest up a little bit for what may be a long season for me. We shall see if you guys will dictate that. Um, but yeah, so as, as told by me, uh, the beautiful partnership that I've had with the NBA over the last few years has expired because the NBA is about to enter a new TV deal with Amazon, NBC, and uh, ESPN as well. So um, the highlights that you guys have seen with scoreboards are no longer. I, if I wanted to, I could still do the scoreboard, but it's a lot of work. Um, and, I, and I think I do a podcast about why. Um, certain things are certain things soon. But uh, just know that I'm planning on doing the flight react style highlight reaction and see if you guys like it or not. And we'll kind of go from there. Uh, this game is emphatic. If y'all want more scores, I, I told y'all Tatum had 30. Seven. Horford had 11. Holiday had 18. D. White had 24. And then again, the finals MVP had 23. If you're a Knicks fan, that may be some things you can kind of Hang on to, like I said, Jay McBride was incredible in this game. Uh, I said Jay McBride was, was, was incredible. He had 22 points off the Knicks bench. And, you know, he's better than pretty much every starter for New York in this one. Though. Not a great game for New York night one of the season. Actually pretty underwhelming, all things considered, how they played this preseason. But I think they will be fine. Long season. Long season. Long season. Uh, ahead of us and um, night one goes to the champs congratulations to the Boston Celtics if you love flexing your sports knowledge you should head over to the best place to play fantasy sports and win some money while you're at it that's underdog for me I love the pick'em game it's super simple to play too all you got to do is go to the underdog website or app you got to pick whether a player will have a higher or lower stat line for that specific game you get your picks right and you can win up to 1,000 times your money and when you sign up, if you use your boy's promo code, which is Ferro, your deposit will get matched up to $1,000. It's available to you in bonus cash. You can't be that. Tap in with Underdog. My promo code is Ferro.